Welcome to one of the cornerstone cities for the MFL, Grim Bay, Wisconsin, home of the attackers. Also home of the first semi-successful head transplant, Grim. Yeah, whatever happened to that poor guy? He did all right for himself. He's the state mascot for head cheese. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Philadelphia Evils go up against the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones. Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My blood sack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. Catch is good for six yards. And that'll be second down and four. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting. Nobody or dead. Or worse. All you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Third down and the punter is warming up. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. It's like he's fighting his hand. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Was he can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you, but then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. And that'll bring up third down. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And he made a mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interception oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. point but you never know with kickers <laughs> straight through the uprights the teams are lined up for the kickoff 
Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And there aren't many things better than a running back. What bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! And that'll bring up third down and inches. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got, oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. And it's first and ten. It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker drugs. Is that is that my brain getting boom to the moon? Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Second down and two. And the quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Third down and six. And another interception. This and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed. And this ref is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> first down and inches. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps off side to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Wow! The quarterback just, and he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. And a 
up, Rick. We might be seeing the birth of a new dance craze. This guy may not be programmed to feel love or pain, but man, he is programmed to get down and get funky. Get with it, brother. Get with it. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And that'll be second and eight to go. See that boot, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. Second down and long. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. First and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and six. Air ball! Hey, did we start running ghosts into the NFL rim? No, nah, that was just a shitty pass to absolutely no one. Third down and six. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The defense uses the time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. Hiring all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Looks
and see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. Second down in a very lot. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, he just got crushed! And it's first and ten. up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. First down to three. First down and one. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. You told me I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Third down and five. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. And a fight between King Tong and God 
Godzilla. Now he can go all the way. Boom, and he's dead. Bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo grim. He's hit the 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. He scores! Hey, man, nobody can touch me with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here. He, just, he is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. Now the old broke back mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of mutant, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explosion. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay the quarterback goes into a hurry up offense he's looking for a quick score Aren't we all Grim? Aren't we all and the defense gets another pick he just put that guy out of his misery and says who's next and he's off to the races they're getting on him hey come on move your ass i got a sub up right now Asshole. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. 
speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. We have the toast. Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of our time. Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potatoes. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but figured out the gas. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. another turnover for the defense and the mfl keeps pounding out the death hits on wmfl 98.8 the greatest hits of all time oh that was totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl First and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Brent. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the ten. Caught for the first down. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. First and two. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. 
What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> First and ten. Void rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. He's not going down. He picks up ten yards on that play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. First down and one. Hot, hot one. Two. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense has no running backs left, so they will lose all running plays in their playbook. Second down and seven. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better quarterback passes for a touchdown. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Because he's gonna kill you, but then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him ah, I'm going in circles And it's first and ten And the quarterback throws another pick he should have eaten his sleeves this morning Oh, what the brutal hit Oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. 
And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone, quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago. Second down and 10. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. No, seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down in a lot. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and, well, good luck. And he was stuck to him like glue. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pad, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. Uh, 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 uh. Bam! Say good night to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I 
it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. First and ten. And he just slipped away, and he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They're moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. And that'll bring up second and one. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone! Once he finds his head, he'll be okay! <laughs> And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stumping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Father was a very smart man, Briggs. Very smart. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You're paying for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast hammer sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here
here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Ouch! And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. to try to conserve time. He picks up eight yards on that pass. Second down and two. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and two. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but... This guy could blow it. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Crunch. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First down and seven. Perfect pass and a score! Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. He is fighting for every yard. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Oh, that was totally uncalled. 
for. And that's why we love the NFL. And this is a first and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for a first, but still a nice game. Hot, hot one. Hey. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, with the brutal hit. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting a snot kicked out of them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Ah, uh, don't worry, that's coming. And it's first and ten. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Third and two. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck system opening play they could not connect on that play and the offense goes into their two-minute drill which coincidentally happens to be Brent's mass stopping time that's why the girls call me that play had no chance this baby is over and the fat lady is singing. Hey, speaking of fat, once I decide to burn some calories, so I set a fat kid on fire. Hey, I wonder if a fat drug dealer sells Diet Coke. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about ten on that play. Hey, he makes up. A timeout is called by the defense to stop the clock. They have one remaining. Second down in inches. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and a pussy here. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. 
And that's the last time out. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second and three. Second down and one. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. That ball was almost intercepted. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He refuses, gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Ben. Second down in a very long. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And the defense was all over that fumble. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 20. The 10. Touchdown! What in the fuck am I watching? And wasn't this guy in a Lost Wages all-male dance review before he signed? Yeah, they were called Nuts and Bolts. His stage name was Vice Drip. The offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Uh, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Well, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, y'all been out on me. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Head. The attackers attack the opposition to a bloody pulp and are victorious today. It was total and complete and utter domination. Now, speaking of domination, look at the stilettos on that cheerleader. Uh, I'd let her walk on my back. I'll tell you what, I'll pay her to do a river dance on your back with golf shoes. And let's go to the MVP to hear him let loose with some verbal diarrhea about just how special he is. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.